Hello, dear friends. Gugu evening. Such a beautiful, beautiful evening. And、uh, a couple of days ago, I have done a video with、uh, a very inspiring young lady, and、um, and she sent me message from、uh, Instagram chat, and、uh, I d- d- just want to be on the. On the video chat about let's dream together to share her story, and、uh, I did not know very much. And later I went to her Instagram. Oh, amazing! Um, wow! It's just、uh, everyone has a story. Everyone has a, a splendid life. Ah,、oh, just、uh, so good to see that.、Uh, That we are living the best of our life, and although there are troubles, there are struggles, and we are making the best of our life, and that is inspiring. Here, we are. Listen to the story of Eloni. <laughs> okay, so we are starting. Hello, dear friends. Good, good afternoon. Such a beautiful, beautiful afternoon <laughs> with this young lady coming here, and、uh, we just、uh, communicated. She sent me a message, Eloni, right? Send me a message, and would be like to be on the talk. This is so encouraging at such a, a young, tender age. I、yes. do not know. Anything about you, same as anybody else. Will you introduce yourself and get start? From there, yes. Okay.、Um, well, my name is Eleni. I am twenty three,、um, based in Nashville,、um, and primarily what I do, I'm an artist. So I'm a singer. I'm a songwriter.、Um, I make my own music, and then I write songs for other people of different genres. Wow. <laughs> So, where do we find your music? Can we work、um, together? Yeah, music is everywhere. It's on any streaming platform. So, Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube. It's it's all there. Okay. So, at the end of this video, you send me the link so that people、yes. can can listen to your music, to buy your music, to use your music if you allow them. If I want to use, I will. We will discuss about this. Please.、It. So good. What makes you so courageous to start chatting with me to send that message? I would say. I think, especially lately, for me, I've been in、um, like a like a growing stage. I suppose I used to be super, super shy and very like timid, like really to myself.、Um, and I discovered you a couple of months ago, and so I don't know. It's just you are one. You're just super genuine, so very, very authentically you. And there's like no doubt about that.、Um, And I just thought to myself one day, I think it was, I think you were dancing, and I was like, she's so graceful just by being herself. And I was like, I have to, I just have to talk to her. <laughs> I have to kind of just like feel that and get that connection because I think seeing someone just so, just a hundred percent themselves, it's so hard to find these days.、Um, And like I said, that's kind of the journey that I'm on. I just kind of like stepped into like who I am and what I want to be and what I have to offer the world. And so, just talking, interacting, and like meshing with people who are on that same path, it's just I just wanted to. Wonderful. <laughs> so you inspired me, I should say. Wonderful, wonderful. You know, I am so far from what we aim for. Everyone, we are on the journey. Yeah.、And Since you are talking about timid, shy, and things, do you think it's an age thing? I got a lot of friends asking, "I want to be as brave as you, or just not to care too much."、Yeah. I think, as I age, as I'm getting older, I become more of myself,、mm-hmm. care less. You are only twenty three years old. But there is a history when you were even younger.
do you feel you become more courageous and less caring about others, others' opinion, judgment, as you build up your ability, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. That's I think so. I think, I think so. I think that has a lot to do with like just life experience, though. I think life kind of pushes you sometimes, and sometimes it hugs you. Um, and just puts you in all these cycles, making you just a lot stronger if you allow it and tougher and you realize the things that you're like in your head that you care about so much, you realize they're not really that important. You realize people aren't really looking at you or focused on you like the way that you used to think so. So yeah, I definitely think life and just experiences in general, aging, all of that has a factor to play. You just you learn, I think, the more as you get older, which I think is beautiful. My birthday is actually the 13th of August. Um, and I'm just, I'm just happy. Like, I think most people kind of get scared to get into like their like mid 20s and they get, you know, frightened. But I just, I'm grateful, I think, to age and like get older because I think age really shows just how knowledgeable you can be. And like the lessons that you learned, I think you just get smarter. So yeah. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> okay. So I think when we talk about happiness, about confidence, it's not an empty word. It's from our experience. It's yeah. from slowly you build up. When you do not have a song, of course you are shy. Of course, mm. you have no confidence. Right. Once you have your son, you have something built up already, established in the world, in the internet, and get people like you, and get mm. people hate you, do not like you. Then there is there is an interaction. Isn't it fun, right? It's so fun. Yeah. I think life is life is just, it's fun because it's so unpredictable. I think I finally realized, like, I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow or yeah. two minutes from now. And I yeah. think that's, I'm just not scared of that anymore. I think that's more so, it's fun. Like, more than anything, I just, just bring it on. Exactly. <laughs> day by day. I am starting to think about these internet trolls and yeah. internet negative comments. What do you think about it? I have my opinion. When you finish, <gasps> I will say my. I just Please. Have a, okay. Yes. <laughs> um, I don't know. Sometimes I think my first, my first instinct, I feel bad. I think or sorry for them. I think usually if you have enough energy and time to try to hurt other people and just waste time like that I think usually there's just something missing with that person and I think they just need compassion more than anything there's no point in fighting fire with fire if that makes sense it's there's just no point I usually yeah it's just I don't know just broken people maybe just people just like a piece of them is kind of admiring like what you do or just maybe they're not as brave as like you said, like maybe they haven't found that courage um, quite yet and get kind of not angry, but they can't stand to see other people doing basically what they cannot do or don't want to do quite yet. Mm. Um, so yeah, I just, for me, I just choose to remember that they just need a little more compassion. They probably need a hug. <laughs> exactly. I definitely want to hear what you think. I wonder how is it for you, especially like putting your, like life, yes. like on YouTube and just yeah. really like being yourself. Like, what yeah. do you, what do you yeah. think for one? And then also how do you just maneuver yeah. through that? Yeah. People have different value. And when you hear other people's idea, maybe some are very hurtful. Maybe some are totally different. They have their background. They have their story. And sometimes I look forward to it. You know, if you get always the same comment, yeah. good, 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 it's not fun. There mm -hmm. needs some interaction, needs some conflict to bring the fire. It's interesting. I for like one that. Part. And also, far away. You do not need to be afraid of anything. Once yeah. you live your life, 
people will judge. People will have their opinion. Mm -hmm. So it does not change your life, right? If you are confident. True. Yes. I never thought of it that way. Think another way. You are making the best contribution to the world. Why? They spend time to, to write comments, to write unfriendly comments. You are saving another girl. Otherwise, they will write to another young man, to another right. young girl, That's true. to another person. So you are saving the world. Yeah. <laughs> In a way. <laughs> right? So once you take your heart lightly, what other people say, it actually does not ma matter that much. There will be people say, your hair does not look good. There will be people say your nose not good. There will be people say not only appearance, your sound, your 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 music is so weird or something. Right. That's your heart. That's your life. True. And you keep on doing that. Sometimes we are beautiful because we are different. We mm. bring something new and different to this world. I think so too. I think beauty is very, beauty is very objective. Yeah. And beauty doesn't have, at least for me, doesn't have a lot to do with how someone looks. It's how you, I guess, show yourself, present yourself, what you have to offer, how you treat other people. I think to me, that's just, that's more beautiful than anything. So, yeah. We are beautiful just the way we are. Another thing, this is a girl's talk. Do you do makeup? And what do you think of makeup? There are social media, there are this way makeup, that way makeup. What do yeah. you think about that? Oh, makeup. I have a complicated relationship with makeup, I think. I definitely started wearing makeup um, because I was super insecure about myself. I remember I think it was high school and I would wake up like every day and I would only go out if I did my makeup and it was just a lot of it on like every single day yeah and one day I think I just realized it was really tiring mm. um and I realized for me I never it just wasn't me like mm. it wasn't really me I think I was just more so trying to impress other people um so my relationship with makeup has changed and altered throughout the years for sure now I like it just because it makes because of how I feel per se so like the days that I want to wear makeup and dress up or just look different <laughs> for the day I'll do it um it's I don't know I guess I I guess I used to just be dependent on it I would say like if I didn't wear makeup I didn't feel pretty enough um versus now it's more the makeup just enhances what I already have and I think I see that now um and I think it just sucks. I think some people can kind of get really caught up in that and really masking like their insecurities or I don't know, like it kind of all meshes, if that makes sense. So I think it can be such a great thing because it is art and you can yes. make yourself look like anything, really, yeah. like however yeah. you want. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't think it's a bad thing. I just think and I hope that a lot of mostly women or whoever where it wants to wear makeup just remember is what it's for. It's, it's to express yourself. It's not mm. to make you feel like you're only pretty if you have it on kind of thing. Um, so that's just kind of where I'm at with it now. It's a, it's a hit or miss for me. I don't think I've worn makeup since it's been months, <laughs> but I like it. It's fun. It's exactly. It's a, a new canvas for our mm -hmm. friends to express ourselves. I admire people who can make up who can do yes. this and that kind of makeup. And we have our ability, we have our time frame, we have our interest, yes. and we do just enough as what we want. It's just another expression. Once yeah. you take it light, light-hearted, you feel so free, right? You do. You do. I want it, I do it. I don't want to do it. I do not want to do it every day. <laughs> Once I smile, I can see the world smile back to me. Yeah. Right? 
I get yeah. that. Yeah. I now, that. what is your superpower? <laughs> superpower. Mm. The first thing that comes to my head, I think my patience is truly a virtue. Mm. I think I have the ability to really feel people. Mm. Um, I don't, it's hard for me to like brush off other people's like problems, like per se, or their emotions. Like mm. when people come to me, it's really difficult for me not to just mesh and mm. like connect with them or yeah. make their feelings kind of my feelings. And I think over time, I realize it is such a, it's a gift, truly, I think, because I'm able to really just be there for people. Um, and I think that correlates a lot with what I do, like my music and everything. I'm able to just be vulnerable and really like pour myself and pour other people's stories into something beautiful and something relatable. Um, so, yeah, I, I think that would be my superpower. I'm a good cook, too. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Empathy. Let's talk about empathy. It is so important that you can you can echo with another heart, especially if you do commission work. If you yeah. work with other people, you hear their story, and mm. you need to you can you can really hear from their heart. Yes, and speak out a language, a musical language that they do not have or they are yeah. not reaching there that is so oh so powerful that makes me wonder what is your superpower smile <laughs> smile your smile smile yes <laughs> if i do not have makeup if i do not feel comfortable i cannot smile no not makeup if i do not have makeup just a smile brighten up the whole face and in the street or somewhere, once I dare to smile, it means my mind is coming to another stage, mm. coming to a comfortable, confident stage. Yeah. So I used to say, how can super smile be a superpower? Now I start to realize it's not only a superpower, it's a goal for myself. Right. Keep myself in a state that I am able to make a true smile. Mm. From, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I yes. think that's, that's really impressive. I think, because it's hard. That's a challenge to be yes. able to yes. think positively or even yes. Yes. like see like a different yes. side or just like yes. that more positive perspective with, it seems like everything. <laughs> <laughs> anytime I ever see you it's just so it's always just that other perspective and that yeah. looking on the bright side or what yeah. is that phrase yeah. half glass full half glass full. yeah yes. it's like it's yes. that mentality and that's yeah. not easy to have mm -hmm. so I'm definitely a little jealous just is little. that be is that because of living condition once you travel, you see other part of the world, you see other people's way of life, you mm -hmm. start to see here we have internet, we have everything so easily. And yeah. this country is very much about individuality, about expressing oneself in mm -hmm. different parts, it's different. So open up ourselves to see other people's life can yeah especially this time traveling you can see different life and start to reflect on it i will not go too deeper it because of a social system political system i will not go deeper into it but just see other people's life as mm. you say the empathy hear their pain it can be a way for us to be grateful yeah right for sure yeah I feel that I like that thought I think I don't know well I've never traveled like anywhere outside of the states so I think I'm missing that sense of um and I want it like really really bad I think I'm just missing that sense of um like connectivity to other like cultures like I learn a lot about them but 
to actually live in it and experience it, I think it's something different. I think my first place I want to go to would maybe be Argentina. So different. I so want to go to South America. Yes. Really? Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe, we Maybe we'll go together. together. <laughs> <laughs> we will have a blast there. Yes. <laughs> yes. Once you, I think this word, a lot of time, you set your goal and work on it. That's the first step. Yeah. Only dream does not bring us anywhere. Right. Starting to work on it, check ticket and see how to how to to become an English teacher, how to become a, to to work for some time. Anyway, there are many ways. I'm not uh, familiar with those, but uh, once you set your goal, there yeah. is a way you can get there. Execute for sure. Yeah. Okay. Some okay. other questions. What makes you happy? What makes you happy? What is the meaning of life? Yeah, those mm. things that... Uh, mm. oh, okay. What makes me happy for sure? Animals. I love other animals. I think they're amazing. <laughs> I have two cats and I feel, I don't know, they're just very, very connected to them and they bring a lot of joy to my life for sure. Um, animals. I love yoga. Yoga makes me super happy. Anything related to like a mind body balance kind of thing just brings a lot of joy to me. So I love doing yoga. I love dancing in my room. Just little things like that. It's little things for me. I think I don't need grandiose kind of, I don't need a big house or anything like that really to make me happy. It's just those genuine small little like moments, like from day to day, I think that matter to me the most so petting my cats or cooking for my best friend those things like just make me go super smile <laughs> you want to do a cookie party i want to yes. do a party right oh that's so happy <laughs> and you you go to see the magazine the beautiful food and things that you want to make and change right and it, yeah that's so inspiring <laughs> yeah don't you think so inspiration comes from anywhere anything anytime, anything anything and anywhere anything yes you go to go to a fast food and see how they do something particular mm -hmm. thing anything yes yeah it's fascinating <gasps> yeah meaning of life so i haven't figured that out i don't know <laughs> i don't know i feel like it changes for me almost every day sometimes i almost think there is no one meaning like two lives so I wonder I'm not sure I've never thought about it actually if I live every day happy I can do what I want to do and yeah. live, not be afraid and that is good enough at the end of the day we live our life through have happy time have unhappy time and yeah uh, and it's fair enough. And that's that's, that's good it. enough. Yes. <laughs> no need to talk about, to think true. about it. Is there something make you really angry, make you feel unfair, make you? Something that makes me feel unfair? Unfair, angry, make you unhappy. Yes, I think our... Could be big, could be small. Hmm. It's big. <laughs> I would say it's more of, um, I think the way we treat each other really gets to me. I think that's the one thing that just really makes me upset. I think mm. in my perfect world in my head, mm. everyone respects people and each yeah. other for just who they are. Yeah. And so to see kind of that lack of um, humanity, mm. I think sometimes, a lot of the times, upsets mm. me or just hurts me because I think mm. we forget that we're all just people. We all mm. come from the same place we're all going through the same kind of emotions and experiences and feelings like you said and so just that lack of um I think connectivity to other mm -hmm. people it's probably the only thing day to day that really really upsets me mm -hmm. like really gets to me but it's big mm -hmm. I I actually haven't thought that deep yeah 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 <laughs> 
<laughs> I just want to live my life comfortably and do what I want to do. <laughs> and I do find this is something that uh, that about myself, I am away from politics. I am away from a lot of big things. Yeah, maybe that's the way to protect myself or, mm. or yeah, just another way of life. I really admire people who have a sense of of justice and work hard on it and yeah. uh, and fight their life. I admire the people living different life. How yeah. did you how did you like have you always been like that? Uh, like just- yeah, like, mostly, mostly. Really? Um, I was, and especially now, you start to see that uh, so many opinions, the world has so many opinions, yeah. and the world is walking on its way. Yeah. And people can live a life if you ignore it. I know this yeah. must be yeah. sound quite... Uh, quite narrow-minded you go to see different part of people different people there are people live away totally different yeah. from yours and yeah. they live happily there are people who live one way or maybe never touch internet maybe never and still they live their life there mm-hmm. are people doing handwork um, let's say uh clock smith or something for their life yeah everything has a life every Mm -hmm. business no matter what business can can bring a people's life can 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 allow people to live so once you think different kind of things um it's a personal choice you live big or live small that's what think i've never thought of it that way yeah i think that saves it probably saves you a lot of peace yeah instead of like worrying about because there's so i think if once you start worrying there's so many things to worry about and it's it's never ending yeah so to just have you for you to just not necessarily Mm -hmm. you said it was Mm narrow-minded which i don't think Mm -hmm. it is i think it's Mm -hmm. more so of a Mm -hmm. it's heroic i think like just for yourself i think Mm -hmm. you're thinking of you first mm, and that's mm. the way you should be like for sure so I I've never thought of it that way I yeah. think because I'm super emotional and sensitive mm. a lot of mm. things get to me and I don't really stop and like look back and kind of like separate myself mm. I more so indulge in it a lot mm. or I feel it really intensely so I don't know I may have to take your advice and see how that <laughs> how that looks in my life because I think that would and bring a lot of peace and clarity and just groundedness. Anyway, we live different life. We think differently. Right. It's just uh, just an opinion. You open up my mind. My yeah. little thing maybe can give you some something to think about. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> oh. So what is something you are really good at? I'm good at. Music, I think. Music, yeah. Would be one. Um, two, I am quite artistic. Um, so I really like putting together. Um, so, like, I thrift, for instance. How do I say it? Because it's kind of a hobby, but I guess I'm pretty good at it. Mm. Um, so, thrifting, like, certain pieces and making them kind of like bedazzled. So, I'll like throw like rhinestones or like make a different design out of them, which oh. I think I do pretty good. So basically kind of um, just redesigning old clothes, <laughs> pretty much. Wow. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I do not know anything about music. Really? Now, you explain your music, what yeah. process, inspiration, and it's your speech. Okay. Introduce your music. And let music. people inspired want to use your music, want to listen to your music, mm-hmm. want to hear your story. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. I th- the first question, 
where my inspiration comes from, experience, um, mm -hmm. a lot of experience. So a lot of the music I write for myself and put mm -hmm. out for myself, mm -hmm. it comes from a lot of lessons. Um, so usually heartbreak, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, I personally make a lot of R&B music. So mm -hmm. sad songs usually. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> but I like them. I think they're just they're just a wonderful way for me to like really release like my emotions and my feelings in such a healthy way. And I think usually people can relate to those, um, not darker times, but more so those emotions that you can't really say per se, you can just yeah. feel. So just mm -hmm. having something relatable like that, um, is basically just what I want to do. I just want to I want to be authentic. I want to be me. I want to be really vulnerable. And I want to show other people that there's someone out there that can connect to you and can feel, you know, all of like what you're feeling just in my own way. Um, I forgot the other part of the question. Let us know the story you want to tell from your music. Oh, okay. Tell so, your um, story. Yes. Um, Keep going. So yeah, there's, there's mm. that. And then... I started writing music a very, very, very young age. But like I said, I was super shy. I think mm. I was maybe 13 when I started. Mm. Mm. Um, so it took me a long time to like learn my craft and kind of mm. figure out what I wanted to do with it. It was a hobby for like a really, really long time. Um, but I just realized one day this is the only thing I am I can do like from night in, night out, like the moment I wake up until I go to bed, it's like all I think about <laughs> is music. That's it, that's it, that's all. And so I just realized, I think that's truly my purpose. That's truly what I'm meant to do. I'm meant to express myself through music. I'm meant to write other music for people who can't do that. Um, so yeah, that's just, that's it. It's my everything. <laughs> Wonderful. Do you do DJ? Do I you do go to concert DJ? DJ. No, I, I've never been a DJ. Oh, okay. Okay. That would be kind of fun. Oh, that would be fun. The other day I saw another lady. Um, I don't know. It's just, she produced music and DJ and all these Is she things. like a producer? Are you a producer? Uh no. So the so the producer side, it's really um a lot of more of like the technical stuff. Okay. And that part, I I don't know. I'm not okay. I know a bit about it because I have to, but I like more of the artistic side. So making mm. the songs and mm. writing them and singing them. I love mm. doing that. Mm. Um, producers are cool though. Cause I think mm. they, it takes a lot of skill to put a whole song together mm. um, and make it into the way that an artist like me would want. Mm. Um, so producers do a lot of like, they basically put like the vocals and the beat together and make the song actually sound like a song. Um, that I'm not that good at. I can just give you the song. <laughs> but producers are amazing. I have one myself and he's he's great. You need to excuse me. You are giving me a beginner class. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I will listen to your songs and you send me the link uh, on your Instagram, on your YouTube. I will listen to the songs and get to understand a little bit so that we can mm -hmm. we can you later, tell me if you like them yeah maybe we can do a catch up of this uh, this chat once we know a little bit more we can even get other friends comments get other people's comments about this video and there are a lot of musicians so we can talk a little bit deeper with their Love that wonderful wonderful <laughs> So that's about all from my part. I will talk forever, but uh, yeah, that's uh, that's about it. You have any question or? I do have one because, mm. um, like I said, I just discovered you a couple months ago. Mm. So, what inspired you to even put yourself out here, like do YouTube and do all of this in the beginning? Nothing starts big. It's all from small things. I did one video of doing calligraphy because I want to do a demo. It's beyond what word can say, beyond typing can do, the, 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 the strength of using the brush. Yeah. So people start to see. And uh, 
there are one subscriber, two subscribers until 10, 20 subscribers. And then uh, people start to ask questions. And then I start to, the other day I was thinking, maybe I can do a cooking video. Yeah. So things just slowly roll. Accumulated? Accumulated. Mm. Once you have done one song, you get people's comments. You will get encouraged to do the second song, to yeah. do the second thing, and then branching it out. All will come. Yeah, you will have more subscribers once this video is made, more listeners once this video is made, more talks, and just to keep on doing it. Yeah. I'll keep it. Just, just do it. slow step. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to you. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> that's uh, about it. It's, um, it's wonderful talking to you. I will send you the link. Okay. You as well, please. Yeah, yeah. Let please. me stop the recording. Okay, record the stop. Okay, that ends our dialogue. Thank you very, very much. And uh, I am just uh, so, ah, oh, every time, every time, it's so eye-opening to, to hear people's story. And I so want to hear her music. <laughs> Okay, let's dream together. If you want to share your dream, your inspiration, your story to inspire us, to influence, learn from each other, send me a message, yanghaiying at yahoo.com. Thank you very, very much. I love you. I really do. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Gugu, bye, bye. <laughs>